They, so they'd ask my wife, Do, is anything happening? And, she, <laughs> and she'd said that he's, he, he works every morning. And uh, th they didn't know, she didn't know. I, I had this little room in a little barn in Connecticut and I would sit there looking out the window, envying the ducks, <laughs> and, uh, their, their carefree existence. And then I'd go into this deep sense of despair and, and remember how I used to be this big ass writing teacher at Stuyvesant High School, giving advice to everybody, telling them how to do it, and why can't you do it yourself, you shithead? <laughs> <clears throat> so I'd sit in that chair, and this is, I'd look at the ducks out there in the pond, and, and I would contemplate, I had it all figured out, because I saw it in a movie. Put a plastic bag over your head, Velcro your wrist, and walk into the pond. And, and you never... This, this is how far I went. I, I never finished this damn thing. And various things happened in between. I'm, I'm telling you this because, uh, because uh, it's the life of the writer. I want to get to the, right, the life of the, of the teacher in a minute. The life of the writer, uh, my life in the last few years was, was, was uh, I suppose you'd call it adventurous. But this thing ruined everything. I, I want, if, if, I, uh, Tiz was published in 1999, and I, I could have been free after that. I, could have, I used to think, what, if I ever made any money, I'd, I'd go off to the south of France, Saint-Tropez, and I'd, I'd, I'd drink my wine and gaze on topless beauties passing by. <laughs> This, this is what I would do all day. Then I'd have dinner and I'd beckon to one of these topless beauties to come to my bed, maybe a few topless beauties. And I'd have a fine time for myself. No, instead I said, oh, in my airy way, since I did Angela's Ashes and I did Tiz between 1996 and 1999, it should be, a, should be easy to do, to do this. I was a teacher for 30 years. And I, I should just sit down and write your story. That's what I used to tell my students. Just sit down and write your story. <laughs> Begin at the beginning. Once upon a time. Uh, once, uh, this is what James Joyce did, a portrait of the artist. Once upon a time, there was a little moo cow coming down the road. And I was like, well, he, he could do what I'm at, James Joyce. But start your story at the beginning. And I tried to start my story at the beginning, on my, the first day of my teaching. But then I said, I have to lay some groundwork. I have to tell the reader what kind of person I am, what a pathetic creature was standing in that classroom on that first day. To show, uh, to show the, the, the public that teaching is more than walking in there and standing up and saying, all right now, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about Chaucer's use of the semicolon. And, and, <laughs> 